we have already tried to answer this question in a bit right so one we know that richness and poorness it depends on the savings rate and it depends on the population growth rate right so those countries which accumulate more capital per worker matlab jo invest zyada karti hain ha jab wo investment zyada karti hain to unka small k zyada hota hai jab small k zyada hota hai because y is a function of small k y is more right so those countries which accumulate more capital per worker they have more capital per worker they will have more output per worker unka output per worker bhi zyada hoga and if they will have more output per worker they will be richer countries similarly those countries which have high population growth rate mane jinka n high hai we have seen it will decrease capital per worker so it will decrease the output level if it will decrease the output level then the country will become poorer right then <clears throat> another thing which we want to go ahead and we want to understand is that when we have higher population growth higher population growth if i want that still my economy should be growing then i can go ahead and complement with higher savings rate with higher investment right just for example suppose that initially this is sy and this is n plus delta k now we know that there is an increase in population which is causing a decline in my capital if i want to ensure that i have larger capital what i can go ahead and do i can increase the savings rate so if i increase my savings rate then i will be again able to increase my capital right so those economies which are growing which have growing population right in order to keep this small k constant they would need higher savings unko apna savings ko badhana padega then they will be able to go ahead and they will be able to ensure that they still keep their growth constant right now we have seen that in the last class that what is capital widening and capital deepening right try to understand that capital deepening so if you just revisit the concept once that we had done in the last class you will understand that one talks about only capital k whereas other talks about the small k right now so let me just show you this concept once okay not sure where i had written so capital deepening and widening are two different things right now the aim of any economy even if i go ahead and grow capital k because continuously my population is increasing i may not be able to grow small k i may not be able to grow capital per labor right so even though i am able to increase the capital in my economy because of growing populations especially in the developing country it becomes very difficult for any economy to increase the value of small k small k ko badhana becomes extremely difficult so that is what that point is going ahead and saying here got it right so you had seen that when our small k changes that is called as capital deepening and when capital k changes that is called as capital widening capital widening does not lead to growth remember growth ke liye mereko small y increase karna zaruri hai small y will increase when small k will increase right so small k increases when there is a capital deepening process jab capital deepening hota hai but capital deepening nahi ho raha yahan pe 
right? The maximum that the countries are able to do is capital widening, but not capital deepening. Okay. So this is what is written here. Capital widening requirement makes deepening more difficult. Right. So I am able to increase K, but I am increasing K because my labor is increasing. But I am not able to increase small K. Because I am just trying to complement this for this. When is my capital increasing? When there is more investment. So I am increasing my savings for more investment. But these are savings bad rahi hai. These are only to complement. These are only because I am. I am required to increase saving because my population is growing, right? So this capital widening process is just because there is increase in population, but capital deepening becomes very difficult because population continuously बढ़ती जा रही है. So I am not able to increase this small k, and that is stopping the growth in my economy. Okay? So very important. Try to understand the difference between deepening and widening. ठीक है